All right, I was doing some looking around on the on YouTube there. I didn't see much for Dayton wheels, spoked wheels, Dayton wheels, um, how to take them off. Um, I took off the other side already. What I'm doing is I'm taking these off and I'm painting these and painting the rims, but all right, here I'll show you how you get them off there. So just grab this, pull these off. When you do that, don't remove this nut. This nut right here, do not remove that all the way. I leave it on there about that far, because this wedge right here, you're gonna get loose. And when you take that wedge off there, you're gonna take a little hammer and you're gonna pound on it, or a big hammer, and you're gonna pound that off. Now these aren't rusty, so these come off really easy, but, well, the other side did. But you're gonna pound these off there, and you're just gonna tap them back. So let's go around and let's take all these off, or loosen these up here, and then I'll show you to, to uh, just knock those off there. Super easy. So see, I left those on there about that far, just because you're gonna knock on those, you're gonna hit those out just so they don't come flying out at you and kill you. Or it'll hurt a lot. So here we go. I'll go in there and uh, I'll tap those out. Oh, here, I'll just grab a hammer right here. And here, I'm just gonna, just gonna tap on those, each one of them. You're just gonna try to hit, hit backwards on it as you do it. There you go. See that one's loose? There you go. Now you can take that nut off there. I go around and take them all off like that, but here, you can go in here and you take that nut off and then pull that off there. There you go. There's your wedge. All right. I'll go ahead and knock, knock the rest of these off there. You guys step back up here. Just, do it. Just like that. There you go, see that pop like that? See they pop off? Oh, got that nut off there. See, I haven't had, oh, this one's loose already. I haven't had those off, I've never had these off. Well, since I put tires on two years ago or three years ago, I've never taken them off. So yeah, I'm just unscrew like that. Grab this guy here. Just take them off quick. There you go. Pull those off. Pull off your wedges. There you go. And grab a hold of the a tire. I should just be able to take that tire right off there. All right. We got that tire off there. Rim. This is the spacer spacer ring that's on there. So that's gonna just like that. And pull that off there. Set that off the side. Now what I'm doing here, my main objective is I'm painting these spokes. So I think what I'll do is I'll just leave this inside tire on there. I'll clean the mud and stuff off it. See how muddy that is? I'll clean the mud off it, and there we go. All right, so that's how you get a Dayton wheel off. Spoked, Dayton, whatever you want to call it. Wedge wheel, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. There it is. Here's what I did on the other side. That's what, the, that's what they look like. Painted the rims, painted the spokes. They look pretty cool. Like, subscribe, comment.